In this video, we are looking at two high quality IEMs in the under dollar 200 price range. The first one, the tribrid, one of the earliest budget tribrids under dollar 200 was the Tri i3 Pro. This one has one dynamic driver, one BA driver, and one planar. And it was one of the best IEMs a couple of years ago. High quality IEM, very good build quality. We will see the build quality too. And it was priced at $160, $170. And for that price, it was fantastic. The other IEM in this comparison is the newer Penon IEM, Penon, or you can say ISN. This is the ISN Neo 3, priced at $200. You guys can see the drivers, they are clearly visible. We get two dynamic drivers and one planar. Now, all, all these drivers are of nearly similar size. You guys can see uh, they, they are of the similar size. The planar is 5.8 mm planar and the dynamic drivers are 6 mm dynamic drivers and even though this is not a tribrid it has three drivers i'm not exactly sure how many crossovers are there but uh, yeah this is a three three driver versus three driver im comparison in this video we will look into these two in depth so let's have a look at the build quality first both are kind of similar when it comes to size i think this one is slightly thicker but i do not find them to be difficult or anything fairly easy fairly easy to fit in while this one is slightly more economical this one is slightly smaller so you guys can see uh, both are both are comfortable inside the ear no issues with uh, comfort or anything like that and if we talk about build quality this is uh, resin they say resin i'm not exactly sure if it is really resin or not or maybe plastic but uh, this is metal and even though this is metal this is lightweight it's not like it is heavy like the simgot ims this is fairly lightweight and this too uh, resins or plastic shells are fairly on the uh, lighter side so this is lightweight and this is lightweight too and if we talk about the cable i i find the i3 pro cable to be slightly on the stiffer side okay uh, you guys can see there is a slight bit of stiffness to it okay if i go against the uh, memory it is a bit on the stiffer side while the penon cable maybe because of uh, its uh, newer manufacture it is fairly on the supple side but why i'm saying this is better because the braiding is a bit loose while this one is a bit more tightly braided and the cores are slightly on the less supple side so cable wise i will not complain but uh, uh, the penon is slightly on the better side if we talk about packaging you guys can see this film c looking box is nowhere uh, close to the uh, more premium looking i3 pro box and the presentation too is a bit better on the i3 pro we get similar kind of uh, uh, accessories uh, slightly better accessories with this but if we talk about presentation presentation is better with the i3 pro but yeah obviously that is uh, not a concern to uh, us when it comes to sound quality and if we talk about sound quality neo 3 the panon neo 3 is the happy go lucky kind of uh, im it is jolly happy musical and kind of fun oriented im with a bassy signature it the the only problem that i find with it is uh, the notes are not well grounded okay uh, if if this is the flow where the notes are generating 
they are not not nicely grounded okay while the i3 pro is well grounded its its problem is that the notes the mid range notes are not tall enough so both have their own set of flaws but uh, uh, we will see which one is closer to uh, your preference and if we start with the base its advantage to the neo 3 for sure it has uh, uh, more rumble more weight behind the notes base is uh, very good with this if you are a bass head you will love the bass uh, it has a uh, uh, very good space too uh, the area of impact is very good and the good thing is that it, it kind of spreads okay uh, it has more more area okay area of uh, movement is bigger with the uh, neo 3 while this one is slightly limited when it comes to movement okay uh, notes are slightly more confined with this one so if you like bass this one is uh, very good uh, very rumbly uh, very punchy it has uh, uh, a bit of focus in the center neo 3 has a bit of focus in the center but i3 pro is more focused okay uh, the edges of the notes of the bass notes are not that even okay so this is more focused and it kind of focuses more on subs and mid bass not very rumbly but well extended and uh, focuses on sub and mid bass its uh, upper bass is not very clean it kind of brings in softer endings to them so they are kind of not that accurate when it comes to that even though even though the new 3 is uh, dk is not on the faster side obviously this one is slightly faster but this one's dynamics and control over uh, harder upper bass notes is very good very good and that is why i like this rm it's rumbly has better texture when it comes to bass this one is not lacking with texture this one has similar kind of uh, layered delivery too but this one has better definition better definition and clarity and if we talk about technicalities in bass this one is the more technically more pleasing more capable im when it comes to bass and if we talk about mid range if we talk about the mid range i3 pro is the is the less less capable one here not exactly less capable but it's it has a bit more more flaw uh, it is slightly v shaped okay and uh, the the vocal notes are not tall enough instruments are tall they have very good clarity and stuff no issues with vocal clarity or anything like that but they are slightly on the thinner and less taller side they could have been a bit more taller with uh, the i3 pro uh, and the the body vocal notes uh, have kind of slightly leanish body and the timber is slightly less accurate slightly on the metallic side while the neo 3 is uh, more more pleasing more cohesive and focuses more on uh, a reverb okay and it has fuller body it it sounds more pleasing the tonality and timber are a bit more cohesive a bit more uh, analogish when compared to this one so this one is uh, better when it comes to vocals and if we talk about instruments as i said this one is very good with the instruments uh, a bit more cleaner a bit more clearer uh, with a bit more uh, finishing definition but new 3 is not lacking with uh, mid range instrument clarity either and uh, if we if if you are worried about uh, upper mid energy this one is slightly more energetic than the new 3 so yeah if you do not want that extra bit of uh, uh, upper mid energy you can definitely opt for the new 3 if we move into the treble i like treble and this one is a very very capable uh, treble friendly rm very good energy very good clarity very good layering very good separation better extension than the neo 3 2 neo 3 is slightly lacking with the energy and uh, uh, 
uh, transparency with the triple but it is not bad okay the extension is not the best but it's not bad either so it is a bit more relaxed uh, less fatiguing uh, less uh, energetic but it is it is not like it is lacking so it's it's decent uh, you will not be complaining about it but if you compare obviously i3 pro is the more capable one when it comes to uh, triple if you talk about stage this one is well rounded okay and has better precision better uh, cleaner imaging uh, the q q placements are more accurate more precise and uh, it kind of feels uh, a bit more a bit more transparent okay the imaging is very good with this one and stage is uh, decent uh, not very good but decent i3 pro with its uh, balanced cable has slightly bigger stage and imaging is not very good but it is decent okay q placements are decent no issues with air either this one is slightly more airy and uh, uh, sonics are slightly uh, better on the i3 pro they move uh, more freely while this one neo 3 has decent sonics but it it relays relies on uh, reverb okay uh, after decay effects are more uh, pronounced on the neo 3 so uh, if if we come to which one is better for you pick pick the i3 pro if you find it to be uh, if you want if you want a cleaner more precise more accurate sounding im and if you want a musically tuned im opt for the neo 3 simple pacey fun cohesive sounding im and this one is a bit more analytical sounding im so this is my comparison of the uh, Tri i3 Pro and ISN Neo 3. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Enjoy.